What is up YouTube? The Lone Hands will come in at you live here. This is gonna be my second vlog. I just recently came back from the movie theaters with some friends and I saw Ghostbusters. It was a lot better than the original. I definitely recommend it. But I know, you know, some people think it's gonna it got well it got a bad Rotten Tomatoes rate, but still that's only my opinion. One of my friends didn't like it, the other one did, so it was kind of a mixed opinion. I like the fact that they did put some old characters in the new movie and they kind of incorporated the new old characters. Yeah, it's such as Dan Aykroyd, he's one of my favorites. And even though Melissa McCarthy is new, like she's a new actress, I still, you know, she's one of my favorite actresses. Um, I definitely recommend this movie. I give it a 9 out of 10 just because I didn't put um, a 10 on there just because it was lagging a little bit. Like, it gave a little bit too much detail and it didn't get straight to the point. Um, well, still, the characters were good. The setting was good. The storylines were good. I mean, it was just like so... I mean, I wouldn't say there's jump scares, but there are definitely some moments that you're not expecting a ghost and they pop up. I'm not saying it's scary. It's not really scary at all. But I definitely recommend for anyone to see it if they like the original one. My perspective, I've only watched some of the original one. I didn't particularly care for it. And when I heard about the new Ghostbusters coming out, I was like, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I won't see it. Because usually remakes are not that great, such as um, Carrie. The new Carrie remake was absolutely awful. Yeah, I mean, the Ghostbusters is a timeless classic. I mean, you can't go wrong with that movie. I mean, it's just, everyone likes it. Because, you know, um, everyone that I know, at least my family members, they grew up in the 70s and 80s and Ghostbusters was around during the 80s and I got introduced to it when I was about eight or nine and I didn't really particularly care for it but now when this new movie came out I actually do like it so again I'm saying definitely go out and see it and I do recommend one particular movie theater only if you live around here um we me and my friends went to the Marks Theater in Addison Illinois um it's not too far away. They have like new seats and stuff, which is nice. And yeah. So I do, you know, I I do not regret that I saw that movie because we were we were originally planning to see Lights Out, which I want to see a different time. It doesn't look that scary. I mean, I really I really want to see it. I mean, you know. My dad wants to see it with me. I think I'll see it with him. Because all my friends are asking me to go to movies and I can't, you know, take them all at once. So I think I'll take a break and take my dad out to a movie sometime. Well, again, I do recommend Ghostbusters. If you don't like it, it's fine. If you like it, great. It's just your opinion. Mine doesn't matter to all you people. According to me, I love it. I thought I hate it, but I love it. You always have to try everything. You always have to watch or try something. You, you you won't know if you like it if you don't watch it. If you know what I mean, like it's good to explore your horizons. That's what I did. I mean, at first I said I wouldn't like it, and then I was wrong. I mean, I loved it. It was one of the best remakes I've ever seen. Well. Hope this advice helped. Um, that is my opinion about the new Ghostbusters movie. Hopefully you'll go out and see it. And please leave your discretions and concerns and comments in the comments section. Well, thank you for watching my video. Bye YouTube. Peace out.